back to my channel. No, you are not having deja vu. I am wearing the same exact outfit. It is the same exact background that I had in my Birchbox video. I am going to unbag my Ipsy bag now, right after having just done my Birchbox. So if you did not watch my Birchbox unboxing, I will link that down below because at the end of this video, I'm gonna be talking about which one I liked better. So let's jump right into opening this little guy up. All right, so about to grab my Ipsy bag out. I'm not gonna take the card out. Let's look at her. Oh my God, so cute. So it has all these little prints on it, all these little Halloween prints. It's definitely Halloween themed, which I love. I love that it is pale pink and the little illustrations are gray and black. I think that it's so adorable. I also really love the shape. I think that that is so cute. All right, so let's open her up. Oh my gosh, and how cute the little um, zipper is a ghost. All right, so first thing I'm gonna grab out is Whoa, we are duh. So it is this mini matte lip crayon in the color Belize Bordeaux. It looks so similar to the Tati Glam Life matte lipstick I got in my Birch box. But look at this packaging, guys. How crazy is this? It looks like the actual lip crayon lipstick, but it's the packaging. Wow, that's nuts. The brand is Tristique. Never heard of the brand before, but I live under a rock, so let's look inside. Wow, the colors look so insanely similar. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. At the end of the video, I'll compare the two, but wow. It's a deep berry tone, just like the Glam Life one. Very deep. This one looks like it might be a tiny, tiny bit lighter. Um, but yeah, really, I mean, the packaging, insane. And again, like I said in my Birchbox video, not to sound like a broken record, but I feel like especially around this time of year, having darker matte berry tone lipsticks that you can just throw in your bag. I mean, it's amazing. I think I closed that question mark. Next thing, I'm like sweating. Why am I always sweating when I film? Next thing is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla, Camellia Cleansing Oil. Oh my goodness, this says dispense a teaspoon into dry hands and massage onto a dry face. Rinse away with warm water. I am so excited about this. I've been wanting to try Tatcha products for a little while now. I just haven't gotten around to it. Super exciting, yeah, really digging this. And obviously Tatcha packaging is always the chicest and the prettiest and so yeah, I'm really excited about this. All right, what do we have next? Oh, the Pure Lease Daily Nip Nur Blah, 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 blah. Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. Hydrates and nourishes, heals and softens. Petroleum free for your lips. Nice, you can use this under lipstick gloss for a smoother application. And it's funny because the other day, I was thinking I don't really have like a new lip, lip balm or lip product that will really help nourish my lips when I don't just wanna be wearing tons and tons of lip gloss or lipsticks and yeah, that's pretty awesome. I've never tried anything from the brand Pure Lease and so I am excited to give this a go and just throw this in my purse. And next thing, ooh, there's something in bubble wrap. I'll wait, I'll wait till the end. Ooh, what is this tiny little thing? Oh my goodness, this is the Bomb Cabana Boy Shadow Slash Blush. The packaging looks like a little book. Oh my goodness, how cute. It says so many men, so little time. It's just a precious little blush. How adorable is that flash shadow? But this color on me would definitely look a little, like I definitely would be using this as a blush. How adorable is that? Oh, how cute. Looks like it's like made for like a little doll, you know? Like little doll eyeshadow, how adorable. Dig in that. Do we only have the thing in the bubble wrap left? I think so, all right. Bubble wrap is being taken out of the bag. Ooh, this is a big, hefty product. What do we have? I guess I can look at it. I don't wanna look at it. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, it's nail polish, all right. Okay, okay, Ipsy. Whoa. All right, so the brand is Joshik Nail Polish and the color is Luxe. It says that it has no formaldehyde in it, which is great. Uh, no parabens, 
vitamins and then just like no phosphates and no a lot of other things which is amazing um the color is cute I, I wouldn't say that this is like a color that I gravitate towards I love purple and it's definitely one of my favorite colors but on my nails I don't know I mean definitely I will give it a shot I will give it a try and who knows like maybe with I don't know a top coat on top of it and like even maybe like a little glitter or something it'll look cute um but wow that's really neat like I'm all about getting like full size this is full size nail polish that's awesome ipsy all right so that's everything I got in my ipsy bag this matte lip stick crayon thing uh, the full size nail polish the purple nail polish the cabana boy blush the pure lease lip treatment lip balm and the Tatcha Pure Cleansing Oil. Amazing! So let's just really quickly talk about which one I prefer, my Birchbox or my Ipsy bag for the month of October. I will have to say the winner of this month by just a tiny, tiny little bit is my Ipsy bag. So I would say both of these are stunning, just like the aesthetic of the packaging itself. I really, really loved and of all the products here, I am the most excited to try the Tata Harper face mask that I got in my Birch Box. But I think overall, I, I love all the products in the Ipsy bag. I think that I'll be using these products a lot more than perhaps I would be using my Birch Box products. And I love that you get a full size, or at least I got a full size um, nail polish in my bag. And I just think this bag is the cutest freaking thing. And I like it'll just make me feel a little more like. Like fall Halloween -y. I like having this in my purse to look at how cute really really quickly I keep saying really quickly because I don't want this video to be like so long let's just look at these two lip crayons that I got so the Tati lip color is definitely darker it's a darker plum color definitely a deeper deeper berry with purple undertones and the Tristique lip crayon is a berry toned definitely a bit lighter more of a cranberry color than it is an actual like dark berry tone they're both super pretty and now seeing them next to each other actually I'm excited because I thought they were gonna be like super similar and they're not this one's definitely a bit more red than this one and that's it for my ipsy unbagging thank you guys so much for watching as always definitely subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys really soon bye guys